Federal prosecutors today in Dallas identified more than 50 men and women arrested for drug trafficking, and they've all been tied to white supremacy gangs. Steve Pickett live for us right outside federal courthouse with the rest of this story for us today. Steve. Uh, this investigation extends, Doug, all throughout North Texas, Garland, Grand Prairie, Rockwall. Uh, the accused in this case are defined by investigators as white supremacists who didn't discriminate, they say, when it came to guns, violence, and meth. It is a list of racial hate groups, Aryan Brotherhood of Texas, the Aryan Circle, and other white supremacy gangs. For two and a half years, North Texas area police informants, undercover officers, and narcotics investigators tracked pounds of methamphetamine for street sales and identified the network of white supremacist gang members or associates as primary pushers of the drug in North Texas cities and towns. These white supremacy gangs have long plagued our communities and prisons. Today, U.S. Attorney for the Northern Joining District of today, Texas, Aaron Neely Cox, identified 57 people, part of what feds label a drug and kidnapping conspiracy. The Texas DPS led the investigation of dozens who allegedly bought and sold meth, aligned themselves with white supremacy ideology. Authorities seized 190 kilos of methamphetamine, over 30 firearms, and more than $375,000 in cash. Cox said today the suspect's racial hatred, however, took a backseat to their alleged drug conspiracy. What all these gangs have in common is that their criminal activity often transcends their ideology, whatever ideology that may be. Their criminal ends overcome their racist views when the need arises. You saw some of those photos of some of the suspects now in custody. We just received those from the Dallas County Sheriff's Office. Again, some of those have already, those individuals have already been in custody. We also know part of this indictment alleges for five of those individuals that they actually uh, allegedly cut off a man's finger as part of the intimidation in this investigation into meth trafficking and distribution. Again, 57 people in total, six of those people still not arrested yet. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. Steve, thank you.